Martin here, thank you for joining me for Turner's Journey episode 13. Thank you very much indeed for all of your comments last week um, following um, the video that Mike Walt and I did um, here in the workshop. Uh, we had a lovely day together and the comments that have come from the video have been absolutely superb. Um, and following our announcement of the UK and Ireland wood turning symposium, uh, the support has been incredible, but I'll come on to a bit more about the uh, symposium uh, in a few minutes. First off, I need to talk about the Cherry Bowl. Um, the Cherry Bowl, um, 13 weeks down the line, last week it weighed 1,499 grams, this week it weighs 1,498. There, it's lost a gram in a week, so... There we are. Uh, um, somebody left a comment, and I can't remember who. I'm really sorry. I've got a vast list of comments that I need to um, reply to. But somebody last week um, left a comment on one of my videos. Um, I think it was Turner's Journey, asking about how I photograph my items. Well, just here is how I photograph my items. Um, it's just two pieces of... Uh, six mil ply that I have um, stained um, black, rubbed back, then I ebonized it, um, and then I put um, um, a coat of Danish oil on, um, and then they're just the back piece is, is lent up at a slight angle, and then the front piece just sits flat across the workbench and the top of the lathe, and then I just take a picture with my phone. Um, from different angles and stuff around here <coughs> and then in the phone itself um, or in Photoshop I just add a little vignette um, to it and if there's any colour correction that needs to be done to it then um, I add I, I do some colour correction because sometimes the light can be blue sometimes it can be a bit red so I need to correct that so the bowl looks the correct colour but other than that um, on the pictures that I post I don't do any other editing um, I don't, I don't increase the saturation or the contrast or anything like that. So the actual picture of the piece itself is exactly how it looks, or as close to exact as real life as, uh, as I can get it. Um, Turning-wise in the workshop this week, um, it's, been, it's been half term here um, in Hampshire and I think pretty much everywhere in the UK. Um, so I've had the kids with me this week, um, it's been my stepson's birthday and we've been out and we've been doing um, other stuff too. So I've not got any turning done uh, and in fact this is the first time I've been in the workshop uh, since Mike left last, last Thursday night. The... UK and Ireland Wood Turning Symposium, um, as Mike and I mentioned last week, has had a phenomenal response um, right across the world, um, and of course here in the UK and Ireland as well, and it's fabulous to see so much interest and so many people getting really, really excited about the, the symposium that, that um, Mike, myself and um, Steve Twydell over in Ireland are putting together for you. We have some dates. Um, the dates are the 18th and 19th of June 2016 and the event will take place at the Hilton Hotel in Coventry. Um, I'll put a link um, and all this information down in, uh, in the description so have a look at the links in the description uh, for, for more information um, as well as links to Mike's channel and Steve's channel as well because they'll be doing their own updates um, about uh, the symposium. Now there are three of us organising it, myself, Mike and Steve. Um, Mike is looking after UK based um, exhibitors and sponsors as well as UK based wood turning clubs who have an interest in uh, in coming along um, to the symposium in June. Steve is looking after all things Ireland um, including exhibitors, sponsors, demonstrators and worldwide YouTubers. Uh, I'll come on to the YouTubers in a minute. And I'm looking after UK demonstrators, the website, the press and PR, general queries and social media and stuff like that. So between us I think we've got all bases covered. The group that we set up um, under originally it was Mike's meetup 
Um, that's still there and, we're, and there are still members um, joining that. But we now also have a Facebook page which you can find at facebook.com forward slash UKIWS. Again, I'll put a link in the description for you. And it is on the Facebook page that we are doing all of our major updates. The group is just being left for um, administrative purposes and the nitty gritty and bouncing ideas around and stuff like that. What else? The website, yes, um, we've put a website together as well, which you can find at um, ukiws.co.uk. There's as much information on there that we can give out at the moment, including registrations, if registration forms if you are interested in visiting um, the event next year. Um, if you sign up to that form, you will get exclusive early bird offers um, for entry and also the hotel. Uh, the hotel are block booking us um, a certain number of rooms um, that we can push out at a, at a um, preferential rate but there's only a limited number of those. Um, <clears throat> there's also a form on there if you are interested in exhibiting and or sponsoring the event because we can't afford to put it on out of our own pockets so it'll be great to have you know some some trade there um, so if you are interested and you are um, a wood turning trades person then head on over to the website fill out the uh, trade registration form and we will be in touch uh, gosh what else was there yeah the the whole ethos of the symposium is to get wood turners together get wood turners together like-minded people sharing sharing turning that they absolutely love, watching some demonstrations, meeting the trade as well. Um, the, the symposium is only about wood turning. So the, the exhibitors that we're going to have there will just be turning orientated. So you can go there, um, you, you can meet, hopefully we are working on this, lathe and tool suppliers, pen and project kit suppliers, um, turning tool manufacturers, makers and suppliers of wood finishes, timber blank suppliers, there'll be demonstrators there and we're really hoping that some wood turning clubs and organisations are going to get some reps up there to come along um, and meet the public too. And also, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to have a stand up there to uh, meet the YouTubers. Um, so us guys in the UK and Ireland and possibly from further afield, um, we're going to have um, a YouTube stand there so you can come along, you can chat to the guys who you watch um, week in, week out, or month in, month out, year in, year out, um, with their wood turning uh, channels. So you can come along, hopefully, and meet those. And we are also putting together um, a host of demonstrations as well. Um, more details about that um, as they evolve, but join up to the website and, and you'll be kept up to date. And obviously myself, Mike and Steve will keep you up to date as much as possible with our own weekly videos. If you are a UK or Ireland or anywhere in the world actually, if you are a YouTuber and you would like to support the event then please do give us a shout out. Um, with uh, a link down to our website. It will be really, really, really helpful um, to get as much coverage as we possibly can for this event through YouTube and social media and everything else like that. All of your support is really, really welcome and we're incredibly grateful for the support that we've got, we've had already. And <clears throat> Jeff Hornham um, at the Walnut Log um, studio, he and I have been chatting about the possibility of live broadcasting demonstrations. Live broadcasting from the symposium to a worldwide audience, but also if we can figure it out somehow, have some demonstrations from YouTubers around the world broadcasting around the world and back into the symposium and that is really exciting so I'm chatting with Jeff about that and hopefully we'll be able to get something sorted along those lines so we can have a proper worldwide demonstration it'll be brilliant if we can pull it off and I'm sure that we can. The hotel itself has got all the facilities that we could possibly want we've got a huge exhibition space that we've that we've confirmed and there's a bar there's a restaurant there's parking 
um, and it's and it's close to other amenities as well. If you're flying in Coventry or the hotel is only about a half an hour's drive or a taxi ride from Birmingham Airport, um, probably two hours or so from London. Um, but it's got fabulous connections all over the UK and Ireland and Europe and the world. Sorry, I am talking really quickly because there is just so much to talk about. Oh, and we've got a Twitter account as well. You can find us um, on Twitter at UKIWS2016. Uh, and yeah, there's the website and there's Facebook. And gosh, it's been a really busy week. Um, Ian Maud, thank you, Ian, for your shout out on your banjo video yesterday. That's really great. Thank you very much. And I think we're going to possibly try and get some stickers sorted out um, as well to be sent around the place. Um, but yeah, if anybody wants to have um, a copy of the UKIWS logo, um, drop me a line and I'll send you over. Um, I'll, se I'll send you over a copy of it. So if you would be so kind as to put it on your website or put it on a YouTube video or whatever, we would be so so grateful. Price-wise. Um, quite a few people have been saying how much does it cost, how much does it cost we're putting the figures together um, this weekend so sometime next week hopefully Wednesday, Thursday at the latest hopefully, I'm keeping my fingers crossed we'll be able to let everybody know um, anybody who's signed up on the forms how much it's going to cost to get in the early bird prices and stuff like that so yeah next week we will be able to let everybody know how much everything's going to cost um, and for the exhibitors and the sponsors exactly what you get for your money now if you if you are um, a tradesperson and you haven't guessed already we are going to be going all out with publicity for this um, I need to be getting in touch with um, the magazines <coughs> excuse me the, um, the magazines um, big time bloggers and youtubers and Steve's looking after <coughs> oh dear excuse me Steve Twardell's looking after um, the youtubers and stuff but we are going all out on, on publicity and um, yeah, cause we're really keen to get this off the ground. Um, well, it is off the ground. It is off and running at a vast rate of knots. Um, Mike, Steve and I have been up very late most nights this week putting things together and we've been chatting on Skype and organising stuff and building Facebook pages and websites and, and all the other bits and pieces like that because the symposium is about you. The symposium is about you, UK and Ireland and worldwide um, Woodturners bringing you all together in one place so you can meet, chat, share some food, few drinks, see some demonstrations, and meet some of um, some of the UK's um, wood turning suppliers and stuff. And it is only about wood turning. So we are really, really excited. Um, and I think that is about it for today. I don't think I've forgotten anything. If I have forgotten anything, I do apologise. It's been a crazy week. Um, I've got, as, as I said, I've got a raft of comments that I need to reply to, both on YouTube and the Facebook page and stuff like that too. Um, and, um, yeah, next week I think I might actually be able to get on to... I didn't rehearse that, and I'm not going to record this whole thing again. Um... That, uh, never mind. Um, yeah, next week I may even be able to get onto some turning and hopefully I might be able to put together um, a project video for you too. But for now, that's it folks. Thank you very much indeed for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. We are going to be entering an incredibly exciting um, eight months now on the run up to the symposium. So please do subscribe. I post Turner's Journey every Friday. And also when I possibly can, um, which is normally once a week, once every two weeks, um, a full project video showing some finishing techniques or turning or whatever. Um, and have a look over at Mike's channel and Steve Twidell's channel um, for their updates about their parts of um, the symposium. And subscribe to them too. And when, when we get notification from other YouTubers that they're doing um, a promo for... Um, the symposium then I'll, we'll be putting links in our videos and also on the website and everywhere because we want to cover the world with them um, with the symposium and so far we're doing a pretty good job um, I know a few people have actually already booked flights for that weekend 
um, from Luxembourg Island and I think it was Jersey as well um, and I know a few guys from Canada and America are planning on coming over to visit too. So all in all it's really exciting, thank you very much indeed for watching and I will s hopefully see you in the week for a turning video, if not then I will see you next week for Turner's Journey episode 14. Thanks very much guys, bye for now.